What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony D2 Wild, checking in back with a review on the upcoming Jordan 4 Red Thunder. Yes, guys, your boy cut his hair. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my secondary channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Instagram because if you're sitting there like, oh, you're late, bro. I've been posting pictures and videos. Get up to date. Make sure you're following all my social medias. I'm going to drop a video on the second channel coming very soon. I also want to give a huge shout out to Soul Play. Soul Play ATL. I'll leave a link down below in the description to their Instagram for allowing me to give you guys this in-depth review on the Jordan 4 Red Thunder. Also, V-Loan is now available on their website. You can use the code TonyD2Wild to get 10% off. I'll leave a link down below in the description to this actual sweater. So if you want to check it out, check it out. And go and follow them on Instagram. They got raffles, first comes, first serves, all the above. Go check them out. And they are an authorized retailer in Georgia and they ship in the US. But we're reviewing the day the upcoming Jordan 4 Red Thunder. These are set to release this upcoming Saturday. And in my opinion, they're a banger. They're gonna be sold out. It's gonna be an issue. It is what it is. The sneaker game right now is messed up. It's bought it up, it's resold up, it's all the above. So even if it was a GR, it's gonna still feel like a limited release. The Jordan 4 Red Thunder though is paying tribute and is an iteration of previous Jordan 4 Thunder that released back in 2006, I wanna say 2005. I could be wrong, forgive me for that. It was more than, you know, 15 years ago. The Jordan 4 Thunder released with this Jordan 4 Lightning that you can see right there that we did a review on. They released alongside in a pack. However, we know that these recently retro, but the Thunder has yet to actually retro. But pretty much what Jordan Brad did was swap out that yellow for that red. And what we have here is a Jordan 4 in a crimson red. They're calling them the Jordan 4 Crimson on the sneakers app. And as you can see, you had that crimson red all throughout the shoe from the wingtips, from behind the netting, behind the tongue of the netting, as well as the inside as well. You also have that crimson going throughout the whole entire midsole, as well as a very soft and buttery. I want to say this is a suede, possibly a new buck. It is, it's, it, it, it's softer than previous versions. I actually have here a Jordan 4 brand. I wanted to show you guys the quality of the difference as you can see the actual color right one is ashy one is dark Why is that because this is a more rougher material? It's more rough. It's not as soft. It's more rough. It's more durable I would say that anything if I had to take a guess this might be a durabuck material where this is more of a suede or new buck Go to Nightwing. Nightwing will tell you what actual material it is He knows it more than me when it comes to that I'm telling you how to rock it and whether I rock it and what I rock it with you know Nightwing got all the formulas and chemical compounds that go into a sneaker salutes to him But I just wanted to show you the difference in saturation of the two you can see one is way darker than the other and one of the reasons for that is because of the material on the actual shoe you have a black insole with the white jump man same as on the back here and the same as on the sole as well and overall a typical black and red shoe for that reasoning and it's something i'm going to keep in my collection for the full entire year I, I really don't know i have enough black and red i'm wearing black and red right now and i got bread fours i got patent bread ones i got uh, bread elevens bread toes black toes i got enough black and red to where i think i'm kind of good on black and red so for that reasoning it's definitely something that i could keep or i could let go but if you're someone that needs that black and red in your collection it's a good way to start it off man in my opinion i think it's a good shoe a good build no widow's peaks not really any glue marks or i don't even see any glue marks really when it comes to fours one of the main issues is the brush strokes which i mean who's gonna actually look at that but to some people you know you can get bubbles in there and stuff like that that go on throughout the shoe it that could throw people off sizing wise there's a size eight and a half fits like any other four out there i go with a more snug fit because i like less wrinkles a bigger size, more room, equals more wrinkles. Simple as that. Retail price point is $190. We still have not hit that $200 price point. So, you know, quick heads up on that. Make sure you guys got your eyes and ears out to the streets because these are on fire. They're already on fire. Already being resold for some ridiculous prices out there. So, if you really want to get this shoe for a retail, you're going to have to, you're going to have to pray, man. Straight up. The materials used, straight koala bear neck bone, grizzly bear nut sack, A1 steak sauce, all above. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions on the shoe down below in the comment section. Hit the like, and I'm going to see y'all on the next one. I'm out. Peace.